Hello, my name is Marco, and I did my project with CARF, a company that develops smart ski technology. I'm a skier myself, and I know how expensive ski lessons can be. Therefore, I was very excited to learn about CARF and how it can be used to improve my skiing. Imagine you're skiing, and at the end of a slope, a very overpriced instructor is waiting for you to give you feedback. With CARF, you now have a much cheaper digital ski coach in your ear that is able to give you feedback as you ski. Does it work? Ah, yeah. Which this way, yeah. Okay. Um, the CARF technology uh, uses insoles which you can put into your ski boots and which are equipped with motion and pressure sensors. The sensors collect the data while you ski and stream it to your mobile phone. The data is then analyzed in the CARF app and the skier will receive a real-time audio feedback over the headphones that are connected to his mobile phone. An example for feedback could be try moving your weight forward. One of the key features of CARF is the ski turn detection. Think about you're skiing down a slope and for each turn you do, you will receive either a positive or a negative noise signal depending on whether you did a good turn or a bad turn. This is how it works. The CARF engine processes your data and decides when you did a turn. After you did a turn, it computes the performance metrics based on that turn and you will get the feedback for your turn afterwards. However, there is one challenge. The CARF technology currently uses the horizontal rotation of the skis to determine when the turn is happening. So the black line you see, sorry, the black line you see here, um, this, this is the, um, the rotation data you observe. Uh, whenever you go down the line, you will be doing a right turn, and whenever you go up the line, you will be doing a left turn. And in between, this is where a turn happens. So I ask you, if you look at the very right end of this line, is that a turn? Well, the, the line certainly goes down, but what could actually be is that it's just a sloppy skiing style, and the skier is actually still in the middle of a turn. This is why the CARF engine has to wait until more data comes in to be actually accurately able to classify a turn. The problem with that is that the user experiences a feedback delay that comes from the turn detection that happens at the red dot, um, which is actually for the turn that happens much before, which you see as the blue dot. The question is, can data science help to solve that problem? So my project with CARF was about coming up with a model that is able to reduce the detection time and to provide a more in-time and accurate feedback for the skier. One way you could reduce the detection time would be turn prediction. If you were able to predict the turn, then you certainly wouldn't have the problem of the delay. The challenge I faced is that the prediction needs to be very fast. There's just no time to train a very complex model while skiing. And certainly, you do not want to wait until the lunch break when the model comes up with a result of how a turn was. At the same time, the model needs to be quite lightweight and needs to be running on your mobile phone. So you also do not want to carry a massive battery with you either. And in addition, the model needs to be quite accurate so that it can provide a good quality feedback to the skier. Considering all these trade-offs, the solution I came up with is uh, coming on the next slide, which, is, uh, which I call a soft turn detection model. This model uses the current turn detection engine that CARF is using, but at the same time, you can feed in a prediction model. The prediction model runs simultaneously and doesn't require a massively trained model, but it can be quite a lightweight model. The model just needs to be able to indicate that a turn is coming. And once the model indicates or finds that a turn is coming, it will send a signal to the engine, and the engine will be prepared, prepared for the turn and will lower its threshold in accepting a turn. My model is um, able to, uh, to identify a turn now much earlier, where you see the old detection time is where you see the red dot, and the new detection time is now reduced to where you see the green dot is. My model was able to cut CARF's average detection time by 25%, and this will provide users with a more immediate and accurate feedback and hopefully leads to happier CARF users.
So the next time you ski, consider calf. It's a lot of fun. Thank you.